Good morning and welcome to week two of the ICC Hour here on Super Talk 101.9 FM. I'm ICC Sports Information Director and Director of Media Relations, Adam Gore. And this week we've got another impressive lineup for, this, for the show. Uh, with a renewed emphasis on enrollment services and in an effort to better serve both prospective and current students, ICC has reorganized recruiting. Part of that reorganization includes hiring the hiring of Taylor Kelly of Pontotoc and Jordan Smith of Saltillo to focus on traditional student recruiting, which also includes frequent visits to all high schools in Chickasaw, Itawamba, Lee, Monroe, and Pontotoc counties. Last week, I had a chance to sit down with both Taylor and Jordan to learn more about them and their roles at the college, so we'll find out more about that later in the show. Also later in the show, we'll talk with coordinator of student activities, Jake Hartfield, about a newly created role uh, to, focused on getting more students involved at the college with the ultimate goal of improving retention of students at ICC. Jake will tell us about uh, the unique opportunities and how maybe members of the community listening to the show or even a business owner can help play a role in student activities on all three of our locations in Fulton, Tupelo, and Belden here at ICC. Also, Madison Haley will tell us more about a big-time donation to our automotive technology program from our friends at Toyota Mississippi, and we'll take a look at some of the some of our softball, baseball postseason honors, as well as talk to Missouri baseball signee Jackson Lancaster later in the show. So sit back and grab an ice cold Coca Cola brought to you by Buddy Long and all the fine folks at Tupelo Coca Cola Bottling Works, and we'll be back with more of the ICC Hour here on Super Talk Mississippi. My burger goes best with mustard. Ketchup and mustard. Grass-fed beef. No, corn plant. On the grill. Now, nah, flat top. Iceberg lettuce. Nah, arugula. Jalapeno. No way. Avocado, dude. Medium rare. Gotta be well done. Rio. Sesame seed. American cheese. Cheddar. Can I have a turkey burger? What? Turkeys are for Thanksgiving, man. I like my burger with the Coke. I'll agree to that. Strictly with the Coke. Only with the Coke. Coke and a burger. Come on. All right. That's where you get the flavor. Today, you are connected more than ever. Your friends, your family, your life. Having a partner that understands banking is what you do on your time, anywhere you like. It's about being connected, which is easy with convenient locations in your community. Understanding that sometimes you need to speak to real people with real answers. Banking partners with the services you desire who understand how you want to bank. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. The newly formed Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi wants to make sure you are receiving the best orthopedic care possible. Our staff of seven experienced board certified surgeons specialize in a specific area of the body and can treat you with the newest and latest technology available to fast track your road to recovery. Call us for same day appointments at 662-377-BONE and come see us at Gloucester Creek Village in Tupelo at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Our specialty is you. At Itawamba Community College, your education is our priority. With a 20 to 1 student-teacher ratio, you will get the help that you need from your instructors. With three locations in Fulton, Tupelo, and Belden, ICC offers classes that will prepare you to enter almost any job field of your choice. Apply online today at apply.iccms.edu and come be a part of our ICC family. Itawamba Community College, the best start here. And welcome back to the ICC Hour. I've uh, got a couple of special guests real quick for you. Two new recruiters here at ICC and give you guys the opportunity to introduce yourself. And Taylor, let's start with you. Okay. My name's Taylor Kelly and I'm from Pontotoc. I graduated from North Pontotoc High School. And then I went to school at ICC for two years and then I transferred to Ole Miss. And I'm Jordan Smith. I graduated at South Tella High School. Did some dual enrollment classes through ICC my senior year in high school, and then I went to Mississippi State, completed my uh, bachelor's degree in business administration. Did some interning work there with communications and with uh, the football recruiting there in Starkville, and then I graduated in 2019 in May. All right, so um, you guys haven't been here very long. 
but you've hit the ground running. Uh, start with you. Uh, talk about just some of the things you've learned or maybe picking up here early on now on the recruiting trail. Uh, I'm just really interested in how good of a job everyone at ICC really does. It's a family atmosphere. That's the first thing that really stuck out to me. Even through the summer months when we've got started, and not being a lot of students on campus, you know, not having a lot of the athletes on campus, things like that. Still the atmosphere that surrounds uh, through the staff, through the administration here, really is impressive and really is something that's not seen in a lot of places. So that's really stuck out and I've enjoyed that. And now I think as the students come back in here, you know, getting closer and closer every day, uh, that's just going to add to the atmosphere we have here on campus. Taylor? Um, I think the biggest thing is the kind of training that we've got. I mean, we've met all kind of people from every department, um, even gave tours like every single day. So we really have hit the ground running. We're really excited to get out in the high schools. Okay, so let's talk about that, getting out to the high schools. Um, I know it's a big part of our recruiting, and mm -hmm. so it's a lot of pressure on you guys. So uh, Taylor, if you would, just to start with you, um, what is going to be your focus when you do go to the high schools, or what's, what's the recruiting plan, if you will? Well, everyone that we talk to, they tell us that we've got the most important job here because yes. without students, nobody <laughs> has a job. But um, our plan is to go out and just make aware to students the opportunities <clears throat> that ICC and Community College offers. Um, there's a place for everybody here. There's something for them to do here. There's a way to get involved. And we just want them to know the opportunities they have financially and academically coming to ICC. George? Yeah, I think that's exactly right. I, a lot of times we're going to be the first face of ICC that anybody sees. I mean, uh, starting your junior year in high school through your senior year, uh, we're going to be the kind of the meeting point for you between where you're at academically in your high schools versus uh, getting ready to make that decision on college. So uh, just being able to represent and help you make those decisions when you get ready, give you just exactly truly what uh, life at ICC is like, what we can offer you as a school, as programs, and just helping you get placed wherever the best place for you is. And uh, Taylor, we'll start with you since you went to school here and you can kind of talk about this more. Uh, just talk about your time as a student here at ICC and how that can relate to uh, people that may be interested in coming to ICC. Well, the, I toured as a senior and the moment I stepped on the campus I knew that this place was going to be my home and that's exactly what it became, my home away from home. And I got involved my second semester and pretty much wasted the first one not being involved because I did not like it yeah. without being involved with right. something. Um, I did <clears throat> Indian delegation and student government, things like that that helped me get to know students and faculty members at the school. And that really helped me make connections and prepare me for my next step of transferring. So my time here was very well spent, and I cried like a baby at graduation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, that's a good point you made there because, uh, you know, there's a lot of people think, oh, two-year, four-year, there's more to do at four-year. No matter if it's a two-year or four-year, and Jordan, you can kind of attest to this as well, college is what you make it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and, and even more so, Adam, than just with college, anything in life, yeah. is you're kind of going to get out what you put into it. So I like what Taylor said there about getting involved. I, I think whenever you really put into the atmosphere. You know, th they're the things here that you would see at the four-year school. I mean, mm -hmm. the student activities side of things here at ICC is something that is growing and is something that has been very successful. I mean, whether it's intramurals, whether it's, you know, movie nights out here on the practice field, whether it's our athletics teams here, if you're going to support those teams. I mean, all the successes that have come with that. Uh, all of the things, all the things that draw you to a four-year school pretty much can be supplied right here, too. All right, so you talked about earlier, you're already giving tours. So if somebody's out there right now thinking, um, you know, maybe I'd like to come see ICC, what's the steps of setting up a tour? And then, uh, and feel free to talk amongst yourselves on this. And then two, what can people expect when on a tour? Uh, the process for signing up for a tour is either online on our ICC webpage or just calling up here. We can schedule it for you. I mean, nothing's really required besides, hey, I want to come at this time. And we set it up for them, usually. I yeah. think what they can expect is when they get here, we kind of help them figure out where they are in their stage of life of have they applied, what year are they in high school, and then kind of walk them through that process and then give them a, a really in-depth campus tour. We're going to try to give you all the information you need uh, to approach becoming a student at ICC. We're going to walk you through the application processes. We're going to show you how to get signed up for your dorm rooms if you think you want to stay here on campus. We're going to show you all around. We'll show you any building you want to see. 
We're going to take you over to Davis Event Center and we're going to let you walk across the floor and look around at the things that they have there. And then we're going to take you upstairs when we get back over to the Student Services Building. We're going to talk to you about you know, the degree programs you may be interested in. We're going to get you that information and we're going to help do our best to try to place you uh, what, where you want to be for the future. And I think a really good part of that is, and, and you've both mentioned this a time or two as well, and it's something that's a uh, theme that goes throughout is uh, we really got that family vibe here. Oh, yeah. and, that, and that's what you're going to do. As soon as you step on campus, you are going to feel like family. Yeah. Um, I mean, anybody that a student wants to talk to on campus, whether it be band or archery or film club, whatever, we're going to get them in touch with that person and they're automatically going to have that connection before even starting school here. And I think that's a really good thing in that because we are smaller, we have the capabilities to do that, to set up things one-on-one -on -one with teachers. And most everyone here is going to be willing to meet at any time because at the community college level, everyone cares. They care about the student succeeding. They care about the student taking the next step. And I think a lot of people, when they get ready to go to school and they think of going to community college, they look at it as a destination. But really, it's just a part of the journey to the destination. Absolutely. And we really do have a perfect storm here. I mean, you look at our enrollment numbers, uh, we're at a little over 5,000. So uh, from, a, from a college standpoint, not huge, not small. I mean, it's definitely bigger than any high school we have in the area. But still, it's small enough that with the activities we have, if you have any kind of desire to be involved, you're going to have that chance to be involved. And I think that, Adam, is kind of what contributes uh, to that family style atmosphere that you're talking about is mm -hmm. you know with our enrollment and with the amount of offerings we have for people here the opportunities are endless there's plenty of things you can do right here at ICC all right so whenever you guys go to a high school now mm -hmm. uh, let's focus on that uh, what uh, what is your goal when you go there and what can some of maybe students uh, anticipate or how can they meet you guys when you're at the high schools well, we're going to set up in a lot of different ways. I think we're going to have opportunities to speak with a lot of juniors because this process starts early, mm -hmm. uh, specifically on a housing side of things. I mean, that you're talking first come, first serve when it comes to housing applications. So uh, I feel like our job is just to make you aware of those things like that, make you aware of the dates that come with applications, with housing, with financial aid, and give you all the information you need to make your personal decisions as far as your college choices, your degree offerings, and those type of things. Also, though, uh, we're just, we're just going to talk to you and try to build a relationship to tell you about ICC. I mean, that family atmosphere that we keep alluding to, as best I can through a, a slideshow or through just word of mouth, I want to convey that to the students out there. Yeah, I think our main goal is to make them aware of what we have to offer on all of our campuses, whether it be coming and taking academic courses and getting some sort of degree here and then finishing with an associate's with a health care program or transferring and getting a four-year degree or going to the career technical side and getting some kind of degree at the Belden Center. We want students to know all of their options, that they're not limited to just academics and just two years here. Yeah, absolutely. There's, there are more offerings out there than I think a lot of people see sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As we've toured the health science departments, we've toured the career center over in Belden, and then we've been here with the academics in Fulton and all, as well as offered in Tupelo. Uh, there's more to this than just you know getting your two-year degree and moving on to a four-year school. If you're looking for a betterment of your life, if you want to have a, a way that you want to change your life for the better, there's an offering here at ICC for you. Absolutely. Uh, I think that's a great way to uh, kind of wrap up this conversation there. It's a great way of putting it. Uh, guys, I appreciate you taking time out of your day. I know y'all are extremely busy this time of year. Uh, we're going to look forward to talking to you a little bit more and uh, get to know you a little bit more and uh, let everybody out there know who you are. So when they do see you, they can ask about ICC. So is there anything uh, either one of y'all would like to uh, add before we wrap it up? Call us, email us, set up a tour, let us show you around. Let us, let us pitch this idea to you and help make those decisions. Old tribe. <laughs> Perfect ending there, guys. Thanks again, and we'll be back with more of the ICC Hour right after this. Student involvement is a top priority here at Itawamba Community College. If you want to be involved with student government, then the Student Government Association is the place for you. If you have a stellar GPA, then Phi Theta Kappa is for you. If you're interested in the diverse culture of our campus population, 
then the Diversity Club is for you. If you're interested in leadership and service, then Indian Delegation is for you. If you're majoring in computer programming or computer networking, then CPNA, the Computer Programming Networking Association, is for you. If you're interested in good conversations and free lunch on Thursdays, then the Wesley Foundation is for you. Our health science programs also have specific organizations for those majors. Student Activities is excited to bring you new opportunities here at the ICC Tupelo campus. Whatever your passion may be, we have a place for you. This video is brought to you by Phi Theta Kappa Beta Tau Sigma Tupelo campus. Ever since you got that license, you've been on the move. We get it. With student checking, we have the tools to keep you going. Take care of that check from grandma without stopping at the bank. Pay with your phone when you're out with friends. And we'll even pay you back for ATM fees. So keep on going, and we'll stick with you, wherever you go. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. With the Little Caesars mobile app, you can customize an extra most bestest pizza with the most cheese, and now with the most of any toppings for the nation's best price. It's the crowning pizza achievement. And it's true what they say. It's lonely at the top, unless you have an extra most bestest pizza. Then it's a party at the top! Little Caesars extra most bestest pizzas, the world's easiest way to outrageous amounts of toppings, starting at six bucks. Pizza, pizza. Davis Ford and Fulton is your Ford dealer for new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and has a wide inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Find your next dream car or truck from our Ford showroom or go online to davisfordsales.com and search our new and used inventory to see what is on our lot. So stop by and test drive the all-new fuel-efficient Ford Focus or Ford Fusion, or the new Ford Explorer or F-150. Go further with Davis Ford, 904 West Main Street in Fulton or online davisfordsales.com. And welcome back to the ICC Hour here on Super Talk Mississippi. Now we're going to talk with the uh, coordinator of student activities, Jake Hartfield. And Jake, uh, first off, uh, thank you for taking time out of your morning to talk to us. Yeah, I'm glad that y'all invited me here. I'm excited. Well, uh, your position is new here at the college. Uh, you're, what, a year into this position yeah. now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, just tell us about uh, what your position is and uh, some of your main duties. Yeah, so the student uh, coordinator for student activities. Uh, my main job is really making sure that we're coordinating all the campus events for students, intramural sports, um, some of our annual events like homecoming week, welcome week, um, and also partnering with athletics and your team on making sure that we're getting participation up uh, for some of those athletic events. All right, so you know we always hear about that experience of a student. And this is a pretty important role because one thing that people tend to forget, whether you're at a four-year school or a two-year, College is what you make it, and this mm -hmm. is a great opportunity to really make your college experience special. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I always say when I came into this role, I want to make sure that students are getting involved in something, whether that's a student organization, that's a club, or going to an athletic event, um, or just doing extracurricular um, outside the classroom, or even with their faculty member. Make sure that you're taking those opportunities to get involved with um, another student, another faculty member, so you're getting the most uh, of what, all, all I, what ICC can offer you. And what are some of the things that, I know you've got a full list of stuff, yeah. but uh, just some of the highlights, I guess you could say, of things coming up this next semester. Yeah, I'm really excited. We're going to be having um, Welcome Week again. We did this last year. We want to make sure that we're um, partnering with different student clubs and organizations, but also making sure that all three locations have something to offer. So we have a lot going on during Welcome Week, starting on uh, Sunday, August 11th. We have the move-in throughout the day I'm on the Fulton campus, and then we'll have a movie night that night. Awesome. Uh, throughout the week, we'll have snow cone cool downs. We'll bring in Snowy on that yeah. business. Um, we have a great partnership with them. And we'll have different uh, movie events uh, on the Tupelo campus. We'll have different breakfast events uh, at all three locations, including on the first day of classes. And one that we're really excited about um, is a um, cookout at the president's home. Oh, nice. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun because this will be our first year doing that. It'll actually be on Tuesday night right before the BSU Water Party, which has been a great success over the years, even before I came into this position. Yes. And so we've been able to partner with BSU and also Wesley Foundation um, and doing some events throughout Welcome Week. So we're really excited. And it's a lot of cool uh, experiences. Uh, I know uh, 
Last year we partnered to uh, show a ball game. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it was a football game, yeah. maybe. Uh -huh. And uh, and you guys sent me a video of uh, how many students were out there, how they were in interacting yeah. with the football game. So that aspect of offering just, and I hate to put it this way, but something to do. Yeah, for sure. That's what it is. Uh, so say there might be some people in the community, maybe a business, um, that might, is that a possibility of them being able to reach out to you and be a part of this? Yeah, so one way is through our student involvement fair. So we have student involvement fairs on both on the Fulton campus and the Tupelo campus. And we invite any vendor or business to be a part of that experience. It's mainly for students to come in and learn about different student organizations they can be a part of, but it's also a great opportunity for a business to come in and maybe showcase what they can offer for our students. So the one for Fulton campus is going to be on August 20th from noon to 2, and then for the Ful the Tupelo campus will be from noon to 1 on the 21st of August. So second week of classes, we'd love to have different businesses throughout the community reach out. So um, just let me know and I can definitely set that up. Now, say for instance, if they're looking for some part-time employees, uh, would that be something they could reach out to you about? Yeah, I always encourage students, whether that's finding work-study positions on campus or outside of campus, they are more than welcome to reach out to me. I try to communicate with our uh, student organization clubs and sponsors um, to make sure that they're aware. And I usually will send a message out to those sponsors and say, hey, if any students are interested, this is an opportunity they can get involved in. Uh, now, one thing you do a really good job at, uh, at that I enjoy uh, is uh, your Instagram posting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great great way to stay informed and you guys do a really really good job at that and it's clean it's informative but it's also I guess it catches your attention so yeah. tell us a little bit more about uh, where they can follow you for those that have Instagram and a little bit more about uh, that yeah so for the office of student activities we have an Instagram account um, called get involved ICC so we hope that parents students um, businesses um, and just people throughout the community will follow us it's just to make sure that we're staying up to date on what's going on campus and so that other students can see that. So if you weren't a part of the event, maybe you can see what uh, what you missed and hopefully come back to the next one. We post information on all of our events. We also showcase different students and the clubs and organizations they're a part of. And then when we have our intramural sports, we post a lot of the championship pictures and, yeah. um, throughout the year. Well, one thing I always, uh, we did when I first started working here was a big crawfish cooking yeah. uh, bowl. Mm -hmm. And I always like, man, we need to bring this back, need to bring this back. Well, you did that last year. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I was off campus that yeah. day. So, uh, but you know, it was a big event. Uh, yeah. we, uh, we, we had some highlights of that as well that you're uh, looking at now here on Let's Go ICC TV as well. But uh, just talk about that. You know, it was a great day on campus because there was just a positive happy vibe. Well, yeah, that was a uh, part of Indian Week, which is a annual um, event that Student Activities does, but also the Student Government Association through the Fulton campus and Tupelo campus. So we did a crawfish bowl on the Fulton campus. We had about 250 people that came out, including students, faculty, and staff. And it was a great opportunity, um, beautiful day for people to enjoy crawfish. It was only $5 a plate, so can't you, can't, you can't beat that. Can't beat it. Um, so we saw how successful that was and hoping for next year's Indian Week that we can maybe do it for all three locations mm -hmm. depending on um, student involvement. So we're really excited about that. Well, just do me a favor. Make sure those three days we don't have any ball games. Gotcha, yeah. Then I'll come to all three. Yeah, I'm going to reach uh, out to you. <laughs> all right, so say there's students that are watching or listening right now that want to be a part of what you do. Mm -hmm. uh, that is available, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, how could how could they reach out to you to be a part of your team? Yeah, so we have about um, six to seven student workers each year, um, and I always encourage students to follow us on Get Involved ICC. Usually in July we post that there's an interview process to be a part of a student activities uh, staff, and it's a part-time job. Maybe you work from eight to ten hours a week, both in the um, fall and the spring. You help out with all the events that student activities does, but also um, help officiate for some of our intramural sports and so they can shoot me an email or um, message us on um, Instagram if they're interested in becoming a student worker they go through interview process and then we got to go from there I know uh, Madison Haley who helps with our department yeah. she's helped with you as well and it's just a really good way once again for students to get involved but for say students that are going into integrative marketing yeah it's also a great way to kind of get some resume building as well yeah and Honestly, for those students, uh, we do a lot of, because we have a social media presence, we do a lot of graphics in-house, and then we work with our community relations teams to make sure things go before we're posting it. And a lot of those graphics you see on Get Involved ICC are student-made. And so this is a great opportunity for them to get started early. And we use a database called Canva. It's online. And so they've been able to use that, create their own graphic for an event, 
um, and work with the community relations teams to get it out there. And, you know, that's one good partnership that we're continuing to build amongst ourselves here in the community relations and you as well. But, man, I, I just want to say, man, I appreciate everything you do for the college. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of those that uh, – People might think, oh, it's all fun and games, but I know there's a lot of hard work that goes yeah. into that. Uh, so any final thoughts you would like to add before we kind of wrap this up? We just hope to see a lot of the students out um, at our events. Um, but even if it, some of our events are not for you, there's other opportunities where let's get involved in a club or organization. We'll also have this fall called the Student Leadership Summit, which will be in early September for our ICC sophomores. Just a new, unique, unique opportunity for students to get away from campus um, and learn about how to and improve their leadership skills. So there are a lot of things that you can get involved, with, whether that's intramural sports, community service, or just attend an event. Um, but follow us on and get, a, get involved at ICC for more information. Absolutely. Well, Jake, uh, appreciate you taking time out of your morning to talk to us. And uh, hey, let's stay in touch and uh, yeah. get a little bit more out there. Thanks for having me. Itawamba Community College is now offering three-day weekends. You can be one of the first to take advantage of a compact course schedule with a majority of classes offered Monday through Thursday. Let us customize your education to fit your needs. Become a part of the ICC family and apply today at apply.iccms.edu. ICC, the best start here. Today, you are connected more than ever. Your friends, your family, your life. Having a partner that understands banking is what you do on your time, anywhere you like. It's about being connected, which is easy with convenient locations in your community. Understanding that sometimes you need to speak to real people with real answers. Banking partners with the services you desire who understand how you want to bank. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. The newly formed Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi wants to make sure you are receiving the best orthopedic care possible. Our staff of seven experienced board certified surgeons specialize in a specific area of the body and can treat you with the newest and latest technology available to fast track your road to recovery. Call us for same day appointments at 662-377-BONE and come see us at Gloucester Creek Village in Tupelo at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Our specialty is you. With the Little Caesars mobile app, you can customize an extra most bestest pizza with the most cheese and now with the most of any toppings for the nation's best price. It's the crowning pizza achievement. And it's true what they say. It's lonely at the top. Unless you have an extra most bestest pizza. Then it's a party at the top! Little Caesars Extra Most Bestest Pizzas, the world's easiest way to outrageous amounts of toppings, starting at six bucks. Pizza, pizza. At Itawamba Community College, your education is our priority. With a 20 to 1 student teacher ratio, you will get the help that you need from your instructors. With three locations in Fulton, Tupelo, and Belden, ICC offers classes that will prepare you to enter almost any job field of your choice. Apply online today at apply.iccms.edu and come be a part of our ICC family. Itawamba Community College, the best start here. Welcome back to the ICC Hour here on Super Talk 101.9 FM. On last week's show, which, by the way, you can revisit in the on-demand section of Let's Go ICC TV.com, ICC President Dr. Jay Allen talked about the importance of partnering with individuals and businesses throughout our communities. One of those long-running partnerships has been with Toyota Mississippi. The company recently donated 10 2020 Toyota Corollas to the ICC Automotive Technology Program. Madison Haley reports. Students enrolled in Itawama Community College's Automotive Technology Program will have the chance to learn about the latest in vehicle technology this fall thanks to a donation of 2020 Corollas by Toyota Mississippi. The automaker gifted 10 training vehicles valued at approximately $139,000 to the college during a presentation where plant president Sean Suggs voiced his support for education and workforce development training in the community. Today, but I'll tell you, this is always an exciting time for us. Our partnership with ICC has been tremendous, uh, not only producing us great talent, but just being a good community partner with us. It's been outstanding. This is another opportunity today. Uh, we're able to donate uh, more vehicles, more great Corollas 
Now these vehicles when I drive over right are sellable, <laughs> but it'll give our team and the ICC team an opportunity to continue to grow and expand and learn from a technology perspective to help this community out and grow talent, grow students. So what you're witnessing today is a really good opportunity for a win-win partnership. And this is not the first time we've doing it. Right. And hopefully it won't be the last, but we're really, really excited about today. So thank everyone for coming. Any comments? Well, Sean, first of all, thank you yep. so much for the partnership yep. with you and with Toyota. I tell you, it is, it's tremendous to have a seven to 10 year running partnership. Yes. You've made such an impact in our community as a corporation and as an individual. But you know, for our employees and our students, we don't ever have the resources to buy all the equipment we need, but our students are gonna have from the 2020 model back a couple of years, all the way back to the 2011s we already have on hand, and they get to work on that technology and the engines that have changed Very through good. the years, and they're gonna make an impact because the neat thing is with our AMT program, we're providing you students to help maintain this Absolutely. plant and build cars. And with this, we're gonna have the ability then to maintain those vehicles when they're out on the road. Absolutely. And so we're excited about being able to send to both ends of the workforce for that. Yeah. And that's just a tremendous opportunity, a great partnership. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you, man, we I couldn't do it without it, you. I think it exhibits that true one team yes. spirit. That's right, no thank doubt. You thank much. you, man, appreciate, appreciate you. It. All right, all right. Yes. The donated Corollas were originally used to provide on-site training for team members at Toyota's Blue Springs facility. Each will now serve a new training purpose as it supports hands-on automotive technology learning at ICC. What you guys are doing? Yeah, well, not only is it a beautiful day out here, but it's also a beautiful day because we get to do what we like to do. We, we think we build the best vehicle in the world, but we also believe that being a good community partner is, is very important to us too. And we've had a long relationship with ICC. They've delivered us some great talent through our AMT program and our new hire processes as well. This gives us another opportunity today to not only strengthen that relationship, but help build students to know some of the latest technology with our vehicles so they can learn and grow and we can learn and grow. They may offer some ideas and activities that we can improve on as well. So it's a win-win. It's another opportunity for us to build our one team spirit. What a great partnership with Toyota, seven plus years running. What a great opportunity to get so many new Corollas that we can put into our um, our pool of cars that in our automotive program, where um, these are now clinical lab pieces. From 2020s down a couple of years to the 2011s that we already ha have on hand, they've donated before. Our kids are getting to work, our students are getting to work on the current technology, the current engines that they're gonna see out there as they go to maintain these vehicles in employment opportunities in the future. But it's also exciting that we get to provide AMT students that are going to maintain this plant and help keep it running to make more cars like this. The pre-production vehicles are built to teach team members the automotive manufacturing processes. The inoperable vehicles are then donated to support vocational education training, workforce development programs, and safety training. For more information on ICC's automotive technology program, visit iccms.edu. Madison Haley reporting for Itawamba Community College. Shifting to athletics here at ICC, softball and baseball postseason awards were announced last month, and the MACJC champion softball and baseball teams racked up their fair share of honors. I had a chance to catch up with Coach Andy Kirk to talk about the honors his softball team received this season. All right, Andy, big day for your program. All-state, all-region selections announced. Just talk about those players that uh, are in postseason honors. Uh, we just had some kids, you know, had tremendous years for us as coaches, you know, just makes it easier for us putting a lineup out there when you've got, you know, hitters and pitchers and defenders that just get after it. I mean, it's just a reflection of the year that we had that, you know, when you have a good year, you're supposed to have kids making postseason awards. And we got several kids on there this year, and we're just excited for them and their families and our, our program as it keeps growing. All right, Coach, Olivia Burns named uh, Pitcher of the Year. Uh, Pretty routine that ICC is going to have that pitcher of the year come out every year uh, or have at least one of them up for the uh, running there. Just talk about Olivia. Yeah, we've been uh, it's a tremendous year for Olivia. I mean, she broke every one of our regular season records and career records, and we knew coming back as a freshman she had a shot last year. Bailey Springfield won the award, which was a big honor for her, and Olivia was right there with her, and then Olivia just came out as that, that dominant pitcher. I mean, it's pretty unanimous that she was the best pitcher in our league, and she showed up with her stats and just how many shutouts and how many wins she got for us this year. And Coach, uh, you got three named to the all-region team. Uh, big honor there because uh, easily the best of the best region in the country. 
Oh, no doubt. So our, our region is so tough, and they only take 15 players on that team. And, you know, to have three girls named to that is just awesome. And, you know, they have a chance to be an All-American now. And when you go through the grind of Region 23 and you get on that list, that means you've had an outstanding year, and you've got great coaches who vote on that. So uh, it's a big honor, you know, to have so many of our kids named to that list. Well, Andy, I know you're a humble guy. Uh, real quick, just talk about uh, you being named Coach of the Year. Uh, tremendous on our second year in a row, you know, in our state is just so tough. I mean, it's the best, you know, it's like the SEC West in football. I mean, and uh, so many good coaches. We had a lot of new coaches in our league this year that brought a lot of energy to the league. It was tough. Uh, you know, our kids got, had a great run. And as coaches, you know, we never pitched the ball, we never hit the ball, we never filled the ball. But if we can recruit good players and good kids, they come in here and do a good job. So it all goes to them. And, you know, the kids before them that laid the foundation for us, all the awards that we get goes back to all those first year teams and uh, even the ones this year that just played so hard for us. Well, Coach, appreciate your time out of your day and congratulations on another successful season. Thank you so much. Roll try. The baseball team earned their fair share of awards as well, including Mississippi State signee Houston Harding being named NJCAA All-American and Coach Rick Collier being named Conference Coach of the Year. Lee Adams had a chance to catch up with Coach Collier to talk about the honors. Coach, a uh, big day. You had five guys get postseason honor between all state and all region. Just uh, talk about what those five guys meant to the program this year. Oh, they they meant a lot. They uh, all been around and uh, they they were part of our success last year, getting ranked number two and making that run last year. And this year with those groups of guys in and winning the state title, uh, hosting the region, they they've meant a lot. They they get close to you and. Uh, they work hard, extremely great group of guys that didn't get any trouble, took care of the classroom work, and uh, we're going to miss them. All right. Well, one of those five, of course, is Houston Harding, and uh, he was named All-Region and an All-American. Uh, talk about Hootie and what he brought to the program and how big of an honor it is to have him named an All-American. Well, just watching Hootie progress throughout the two years and how hard he worked and uh, how much he changed his body and and the weight room and long tossing and uh, uh, just watching him progress from 82, 84 to, to 89, 91 and, and just uh, the change up. He can throw that change up anytime and how much he works on things. Uh, it's just been a fun time with him. Uh, he, uh, he really dominated the MACJC pitching. Uh, you know, he went 10 and 0 this year and uh, uh, we're just really proud for him and proud of him. Coach, exciting day for you being uh, selected as Coach of the Year by the MACJC. Just talk about what that means to you and your program. Well, it means a lot. It's uh, you know it's an honor to be selected uh, MACJC Coach of the Year uh, uh, by your peers, and uh, you know it, it's just another honor for the players. The players are the ones who who uh, played the game, and you know they pitched it and hit it and caught it, and uh, I just put them together and worked them hard and. Those guys are a great group of guys, and uh, it's just something, an honor I got because of them. Staying with baseball, earlier this year we had a chance to sit down with now former ICC baseball player Jackson Lancaster to talk about his commitment to continue his athletic career at Missouri next season. Now, after that interview, Lancaster was drafted by the Seattle Mariners, but elected to honor his commitment and become a Tiger next year. Let's go to this ICC spotlight being brought to you by the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. The newly formed Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi wants to make sure you are receiving the best orthopedic care possible. Our staff of seven experienced board certified surgeons specialize in a specific area of the body and can treat you with the newest and latest technology available to fast track your road to recovery. Call us for same day appointments at 662-377-BONE and come see us at Gloucester Creek Village in Tupelo. At the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our specialty is you. Jackson, you announced on Twitter uh, you're going to continue your baseball career at Mizzou. So uh, just take us through that decision-making process. Uh, what was it about Missouri that uh, has uh, got you going that direction? Well, um, first of all, I love Coach Beezer and the coaching staff there, Coach Rhodes. You know, they were really welcoming on my visit and everything and uh, love the way they work their program and run things on campus. Everything runs smoothly. They got a you know, they're really organized and everything, and also it's an SEC school, so just glad to play in the SEC. So second player this year to uh, sign with the SEC program off of Rick's, uh, Rick's squad, and that's what Rick does. He sends guys to the SEC. So uh, just talk about how uh, Coach Collier has helped you get to this point in your career where you'll have this opportunity. Yeah, he, he's been a tremendous help uh, for me. It's been 
it's been a great year and a half here at ICC and you know um, I came in being a good hitter but he's really helped me develop more as a hitter um, as far as that goes and like different my approach to hitting and everything so it's been great. Now uh, you talk about hitting there this summer uh, you, you got a little extra help to go to help push what Coach Collier's uh, been teaching you to take it to that next level. Just talk a little bit about your preparation this summer to get better for this season. Okay, so, um, well, last year I had, you know, I, I'm a speed guy, obviously. Uh, most people know that, but I tried to, you know, work on my tools that, you know, maybe my weaknesses. I wouldn't say weaknesses, but tools that I'm not so good at. So, like, power was a big thing with me, and uh, I tried to really uh, develop my power skills, you know, be able to put up those power numbers along with the, you know, average numbers and everything. So, um, that is working out great. I've hit some doubles in the past few games, so it's uh, hard work's really paying off. All right, well, uh, it showed there in the opening series, opening weekend, you know, going six for seven, being play, named player of the week by the conference. Uh, just talk about kind of the first four games and what you've seen at the plate in the in what how the work has paid off at the plate so far in such a short time this season. Okay, well, going into the season, um, Obviously, I've had some a little bit of pressure on me because I, I haven't been committed anywhere. I turned down some offers in the fall uh, from some really good schools, but I just didn't feel like that's where I needed to be. And uh, it was just getting up there. I was actually more relaxed than than ever for some reason. I think it was just I got my mind clear, and I was just thinking about helping our team win, and uh, that really helped me focus and swing the bat well. I was going to say, uh, and for those who might not know, not only do you patrol center field, you, you get on the mound as well, and you closed out game two uh, Saturday, and you faced three batters, and you struck them all out. Uh, just talk a little bit about maybe the pitching side of your game that may, most people might not be familiar with. Well, um, pitching is definitely a secondary thing, um, and most people know that, but it's also something that I've worked hard at to, to get to where I am now. Um, I pitched a lot my senior year in high school, um, pitching the state championship, so that helped me out um, as far as dealing with pressure and those kind of situations in the mental aspect of pitching. And so, um, yeah, it's it's been a great thing to be a dual player here. I enjoy pitching, but uh, also my love is hitting though. Well, just talk about your uh, your teammates and how you guys are just kind of coming together. Of course, Mother Nature hates baseball uh, because we're not going to play for another two months. <laughs> it looks like with all the rain coming through. But what are you guys doing to stay focused, stay aggressive? Because baseball is all about routine, rhythm, right. getting in that rhythm. What are you guys doing right now to kind of just try to keep that momentum going? Well, the base, the the most important thing that we're doing right now is is staying together. You know, we we're, we're always encouraging. I've never like been a part of a more encouraging group of guys. Like it's it's insane, and uh, it's like none of us none of us ever like get down on each other or try to you know say anything negative towards each other, and that really helps as far as baseball goes because you know it's all about confidence and everything but um we're also lucky enough to have an indoor facility <laughs> that we can go yeah. and practice in so we're thankful for that absolutely now let's go back to the recruiting trail and of course don't have to name schools but if you want to you know uh you had you had some options out there uh you know talk about maybe some of those options that you had and you know that ultimately led to you going to missouri but you know what people may not realize you had some very va valuable options right well, I um, had a great, great offer from Delta State, uh, Mississippi College, MTSU. Um, shout out to Just Medlin for signing with MTSU. But, uh, you know, I I went on visits to, visits to all those colleges and love the coaching staff. You know, great programs, all three of them are. And, uh, but it's just not really where I felt like that was where I was supposed to be. So, obviously, I decided to wait, which is pretty risky, but I just had to rely on confidence and that I would be able to perform well. And did you go on a visit to Missouri? I did. Okay. I did. Take us through that. You know what? What did you see? Because I've never been. That's one of the few campuses in the SEC. Well, technically now they're an SEC school. Right. But uh, you know that's one of the few campuses that I have not been on uh, in the SEC. It's it's a really nice campus. Obviously, Columbia is really big. It's actually about an hour and a half um, from St. Louis and an hour and a half from Kansas City. So. Um, it's kind of right there in the middle of everything, and uh, when I went on campus, we actually had a we had the snow come in on us while we were on the road, so that was yeah. pretty rough. But we finally got up there, and um, it was it was really nice. Um, 
all the facilities, everything's nice. The coaching staff's wonderful. Um, so yeah, I'm really pumped to be there. All right, so we got Lee Adams here well, with us uh, as well. Yeah, yeah, okay, uh, any, any questions don't have to be about recruiting. Yeah, well, going back to your preparation a little bit, I know you, me and you had talked some in passing, and uh, you have a family member who play, played or plays professionally, uh, and you said you've kind of been picking their brain. Uh, what? Just talk about some of the stuff that you've been learned from them that's been able, they've been able to pass down to you. Right, that's Les Lancaster. He played uh, for the Chicago Cubs. Um in the nineteen eighties. Because you're a Cubs guy. <laughs> <laughs> in the mid eighties and he also went on to play for the Detroit Tigers and the St. Louis Cardinals. But um yeah, he pitched uh, with Greg Maddox and all of them and it was it's been like it's been a great pleasure to be able to talk with him and really kinda of pick his brain and get to know some of the like secret things, you know, that goes on in the M L B and like uh he's also helped me with recruiting, um, how to talk to coaches, you know and through that whole process, so it's really been helpful. All right, man, well, that's that's pretty much what we got for you today, man. We appreciate you uh, kind of uh, impromptu interview here on the show. Uh, Jackson, anything else you want to add? Maybe some shout-outs, uh, family members, uh, anybody like that? I just want to say thank you to all my family, and uh, I want to thank God and all my teammates for being there for me. It's been a great opportunity. Well, Jackson, congratulations, and we look forward to the rest of the season and also uh, following you and all the success that will follow after ICC. Thank you, I appreciate it. Student involvement is a top priority here at Itawamba Community College. If you want to be involved with student government, then the Student Government Association is the place for you. If you have a stellar GPA, then Phi Theta Kappa is for you. If you're interested in the diverse culture of our campus population, then the Diversity Club is for you. If you're interested in leadership and service, then Indian Delegation is for you. If you're majoring in computer programming or computer networking, then CPNA, the Computer Programming Networking Association, is for you. If you're interested in good conversations and free lunch on Thursdays, then the Wesley Foundation is for you. Our health science programs also have specific organizations for those majors. Student Activities is excited to bring you new opportunities here at the ICC Tupelo campus. Whatever your passion may be, we have a place for you. This video is brought to you by Phi Theta Kappa Beta Tau Sigma Tupelo campus. Today, you are connected more than ever. Your friends, your family, your life. Having a partner that understands banking is what you do on your time, anywhere you like. It's about being connected, which is easy with convenient locations in your community. Understanding that sometimes you need to speak to real people with real answers. Banking partners with the services you desire, who understand how you want to bank. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. My burger goes best with mustard. Ketchup and mustard. Grass-fed beef. No, corn-fed. On the grill. Now, nah, flat top. Iceberg lettuce. Nah, arugula. Jalapeno. No way. Avocado, dude. Medium rare. Gotta be all done. Rio. Sesame seeds. American cheese. Cheddar. Can I have a turkey burger? What? Turkeys are for Thanksgiving, man. I like my burger with the Coke. I'll agree to that. Strictly with the Coke. Only with the Coke. Coke and a burger. Come on. All right. That's where you get the flavor. With the Little Caesars mobile app, you can customize an extra most bestest pizza with the most cheese, and now with the most of any toppings for the nation's best price. It's the crowning pizza achievement. And it's true what they say, it's lonely at the top, unless you have an extra most bestest pizza. Then it's a party at the top! Little Caesars extra most bestest pizzas, the world's easiest way to outrageous amounts of toppings, starting at six bucks. Pizza, pizza. Itawamba Community College is now offering three-day weekends. You can be one of the first to take advantage of a compact course schedule with a majority of classes offered Monday through Thursday. Let us customize your education to fit your needs. Become a part of the ICC family and apply today at apply.iccms.edu. ICC, the best start here. And that's going to do it for this week's edition of the ICC Hour here on Super Talk 101.9 FM. Be sure to join us every Tuesday at 9 a.m. to learn more about Itawamba Community College, including some of our unique offerings and opportunities, along with meeting some of the great people that are part of the ICC family from all three of our locations in Fulton, Tupelo, and Belding. For more information how... <clears throat> 
For more information on how you can become part of the ICC family, visit iccms.edu. And don't forget, we have a few orientation spots left for Thursday night session in Tupelo starting at 5 p.m. and Friday's all-day session starting at 8 a.m. in Fulton. Find out more at iccms.edu slash orientation. That's iccms.edu slash orientation. Now remember, you'll need to apply before attending orientation. You can do that at apply.iccms.edu. That's apply.iccms.edu. Join us right back here next Tuesday at 9 a.m. for the ICC Hour, where we'll introduce you to the new women's volleyball coach, Priscilla Morgan. We'll learn more about her, her goals for the future here at ICC, and much, much more next week. This has been ICC Sports Information Director and Director of Media Relations, Adam Gore. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a blessed week, and as always, Roll Tribe.